The situation in Syria continued to remain a major topic at the United Nations this week. Unanimously adopting a resolution Monday, the Security Council approved the deployment of UN monitors to observe the evacuation of civilians from war-torn Aleppo. Council members said they were alarmed by the continued deterioration of the devastating humanitarian situation in Aleppo, where urgent humanitarian evacuations and assistance are now needed by a large number of inhabitants. Also this week, the General Assembly voted to set up a team to collect evidence and facilitate future investigations into possible war crimes in Syria. Humanitarians are racing against the clock in freezing temperatures to reach thousands of people wishing to leave eastern Aleppo, the UN said Thursday. UN Special Envoy Stefan de Mistura stressed the urgency to push for political talks to bring an end to the conflict. Jan Egeland, his special advisor, described the first lines of buses, cars and trucks leaving Aleppo as the largest evacuation he had seen, and the complex and dangerous operations had saved many lives. An estimated 35,000 people have fled the last opposition-held enclaves in the east of the city. Meanwhile, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, UN peacekeepers patrol the streets of the capital, Kinshasa, to reduce tensions, as President Joseph Kabila remains in power after his mandate expired on December 19. At least 30 people are reported to have been killed in opposition-led demonstrations, requesting the president's departure since Monday, while the UN has documented hundreds of arrests. Wednesday, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon stressed in a statement that it's very important to eliminate tensions and create a safe environment for the completion of a dialogue to be followed by timely, credible and transparent elections.